Let's try this again. Don't know what I'm doing. It's the first time machining anything with the new toy. Um, maybe Elgi or Tim works on the big stuff. Might have uh, some advice. So I've machined this in to fit my disc, the rotor. I've machined this side to fit through the wheel. So the wheel goes on here, the disc go on here, and that's the right size for just giving me uh, about a half an inch of room for the rotor and the caliper to go on when the wheel comes on. So I'm now taking this down, getting rid of all of the the weight off there. I'm leaving it flat for an inch. That'll be my screws that go in for holding the disc. And I'll do the same on this side, my one inch line to hold the hub to the wheel. So I'm taking off some stuff in the middle here. Is there a way that it will automatically go down. I've just got this thing on auto go and it'll go this way by itself. The carriage, is that what you call it? The carriage will move that way. But then I have to just turn it by hand slowly to get that slope on there. Is there a way that you can do that automatically? I imagine on the big machinist tools like that Tim uses, there is an automatic setting for that. How about on these little ones? Elgi, I saw a little one in your shop. There's a way to do that automatically or just slowly go and crank that thing just a little bit, a little bit as it's moving along there and then at least it's moving this direction at a constant speed and I can get a pretty good groove on it. What I'm doing is I'm taking a bunch off here and then I'll take a bunch off like this so that's a little skinnier in the middle and getting rid of that weight is what I'm doing. I want to keep full size here for the bolts to go through to hold the uh, brake rotor on, the disc rotor on. I might take it to an actual machinist. They could probably take off a little bit in here as well. I can't do that I'm not on this lathe anyways or something. I might be able to do that on a what do you call them? Fancy CNC machines, but they don't have that. You could take off a little bit through here just to take off some more weight, but I'm just going to take this down and make it just a, a normal hub all the way like that. Well, that's where I'm sitting with this right now. I've been playing with this and playing with this. It's small, it works. It takes a lot of time. you gotta, got to take a little bit at a time, a little bit at a time, a little bit at a time, measure it, take a little bit at a time, but it's kind of satisfying. I've never used one before, so I'm just seeing how everything works. And yeah, I've watched a few videos on it, but I've never really done any machining before. It's kind of satisfying. Um, but it looks good and when I put it on the wheel and put the disc on there and the caliper they all sit just about exactly where I want them to sit. I just want to get rid of some of that chunk in the middle. Don't we all? Yeah.